In late 2012, NOAA mapped some of this area and from the backscatter data uh, from the multi-beam, uh, saw what are column anomalies, and these have been identified as potential seeps or seep sources. So the goal of this dive is to really ground truth this area and determine the extent of the seepage. We would like to see aerial coverage, if possible, of any of this community, zonation of different organisms, if and what type of megafauna are associated with these seeps, and also look at a carbonate communities, if we see carbonate rocks, and um, potentially that are, are inhabited by corals communities as well. We are currently settling on the bottom at 1135 meters depth. We are off the northeastern United States, off the coast of uh, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, and we're exploring a new area. This white um, is microbial activity or bacterial mats, and I was just wondering if you could just explain why we might see something like that here in the CP sediment. Basically, they're um, an indicator of a chemical seepage um, or chem chemicals emitting from the sediment environment, um, potentially methane. Um, there, there may be um, sulfur oxidizing bacteria that are um, also present on the sediment surface, but these mats can be early indications of potential chemical seepage. This look, structure looks a little different to me. It looks very suspicious. It's very suspicious. It looks very suspicious. The point here is we might be seeing places along this slope where that maybe we're more active or we're more active now, for example. Another question I would have for some of the biologists is whether um, we might be looking at predominance of sulfides in some part of the system instead of methane. Um, we haven't seen a lot of methane bubbles today. I think I got something on the sonar. Maybe. It's a little dot that kept recurring. It's right over here. Absolutely. That's cool. Holy moly. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Good eye. That is hydrate. Yep. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, Looks like we actually have some muscles, too. Yeah, I'm going to get an overview before uh, we pass out of the area. So, to the best of my knowledge, that's the first time that we've seen five Asimodiolus muscles here on the five. Sure, are we getting a good view uh, here of the extent of this muscle bed? Uh, you can see it pretty well in Sirius. leaving a, a seep site that we were able to ground truth successfully in this site. Um, we had multi-beam mapping from and water column backscatter data where we identified bubbles or, or water column anomalies and we were able to come to the site using a remotely operated vehicle and ground truth this area. This has been a really exciting dive. We found gas hydrate, chemosynthetic communities, large beds of live bathymodiolus mussels, um, several species of fishes, and again, red crabs, which are commercially important fishery nonetheless.